In today's video, we will be making the most classic of classic cocktails, the daiquiri. So we're gonna make the cocktail, we'll discuss its history, and stay tuned to the very end because we will be showing you some of the more popular variations of the daiquiri, as well as discussing its extensive family, which includes its distant cousin, the margarita. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. So we're gonna make the daiquiri here in a second, but before we do, let's quickly talk about its history. So the history of the daiquiri goes all the way back to 1898 at the end of the Spanish-American War. So once that war is done, a bunch of companies from the United States flood into Cuba and one of the people that joined in that flood was the creator of the daiquiri, a mining engineer by the name of Jennings S. Cox. So there are two different stories about how he came up with that recipe. The first is that he was serving daiquiris to the people that worked in his mine. The second story that was told many years later by his granddaughter was that he was hosting a party and he was serving his guest gimlets. He ran out of gin and replaced the gin with rum and that was the birth of the daiquiri. Now the very first time that we see the daiquiri in print is in 1914 and the recipe is much more focused on the lime juice and less focused on the rum. Now the modern version of the daiquiri actually flips that. So it's much more focused on the rum with a nice bright accent of lime juice. And that is a version that we're gonna make for you today, the modern daiquiri. To make the daiquiri, we're just gonna go ahead and start by building everything in our small cheater tin here. We're gonna go ahead and add our rum. Generous portion of rum. Then our lime juice. And finally, our simple syrup. So the only thing now to do is go ahead and shake this up and fine strain it into our coupe glass here. And to garnish this, we are just gonna simply do a lime wheel right across the top. There we have it, the modern version of the daiquiri. So there we have it, we have our modern version of the daiquiri. Now there is no cocktail that better represents a sour style cocktail than the daiquiri in my opinion. So what I mean by a sour style cocktail is that represents a cocktail family known as the sour. In that family, you're working with three main ingredients. You have a base spirit, you have an acid, and you have a sweetener. Think of it like an adult lemonade. Once you understand the variables inside of that family, you can plug and play different ingredients. So if you remember the history portion, we talked about a different cocktail known as the gimlet. That is gin, lime juice, and simple syrup. You run out of gin, you replace it with rum, and that's a daiquiri. And you can completely replace them with different base spirits and have different cocktails. Now, how does this compare with the margarita, for example? Well, the margarita represents a different cocktail family known as the daisy, and that is a subset of the sour family. So within a daisy, you have four main ingredients that you're working with. You have a base spirit, acid, sweetener, and liqueur, and the liqueur is a thing that identifies it as a daisy. So with a margarita, you have tequila, lime juice, agave nectar, if you're making a Tommy style margarita, and an orange flavored liqueur like Cointreau, for example. And those are the main differences between a margarita and a daiquiri. Now, once again, once you identify all the variables, then you can apply some really fun techniques. So like, for example, in our syrups course, we specifically focus on a simple syrup and as a way of adding more flavor. So you could replace that with a strawberry syrup and you have a really delicious strawberry daiquiri or you replace it with a mint cardamom syrup and add even additional flavors. So once you understand the structure of a cocktail family, you know what techniques you can apply, this is where you take your cocktail making and put it to the next level. So there we have it. We have made our modern version of the daiquiri. We've discussed the history as well as how it's different than a margarita, but also kind of similar in the fact that they both live in the sour cocktail family. We've also discussed some of the variations that are possible when you focus on just one ingredient, the syrup in this case. So if you want to learn more, head on over to learn.abarabove.com where you can take a look at our syrup course and all of the other courses we have available to help to elevate your cocktail game. 
So we're gonna have some more videos for you in the future, but until then, I hope you guys enjoy your version of the daiquiri. Cheers.